Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another top five manga collaboration with Laura. I will have her channel linked down below. And this week we are going to be going over our top five favorite shoujo manga. So I, again, had to tweak this a little bit or else I would have way too hard of a time choosing. And so I decided to go with my top five completed shoujo manga series. And when I say this, I mean completed in the United States. So without further ado, let's get into my first pick. These are in no specific order. They're just all favorites. So my first pick is Wake Up Sleeping Beauty. This is a six volume shoujo that follows Tetsu and Shizu. Tetsu is a high school boy who gets a job as a gardener working at Shizu's home. And one day he happens upon her sleeping on a bench. And when he goes over to talk to her, they have a very short, strange conversation and he instantly becomes interested in her just because she's odd. And there's a lot of mystery that surrounds Shizu and this does have a paranormal element of sorts. I really love this series. I want more people to read it. I know that it is out of print and it can be really hard to get your hands on it, but if you can, pick it up. It is so good. Now I'm going to awkwardly show you all of the covers because I forgot to do this while I was actually talking about the series, but I still want to show you all the pretty covers. So these are all the beautiful covers of this series. My second pick for my top five shoujo is probably my biggest guilty pleasure manga, and that would be The Devil Does Exist. This story follows Kayano, her crush Yuchiru, and her bully Takeru. Basically, in this first volume, you find out that Kayano's mom is marrying the principal of her high school, and she is going to become step-siblings with her bully Takeru. And it's just shenanigans and drama from there. As you guys know, I don't like love triangles and I don't like super dramatic stories or anything like that, but I love this series. This is a series that I think is highly underrated. It is quite old and out of print, so as you can see it's the old CMX titles, but I feel like this is just such a fun, crazy series with a wide range of characters that you are able to just fall in love with and you find favorites in all of these side characters. And I feel like it has a really satisfying end to it. Um, this mangaka also does Crimson Hero, which is my favorite sports manga that never got completed in English and I'm still bitter about it, but maybe someday they will reprint it and have the whole series because that would be awesome. So this series is complete in 11 volumes. It, like I said, it is out of print, but I feel like you can find the entire series for rather cheap on like secondhand sites. I feel like not a lot of people hang on to this series and it's not super popular for people to like go hunting for like Red River and From Far Away are, so you can find these fairly cheap. The next manga on my list is an LGBTQIA title and that is My Love Mix-Up. This is by the same artist that did My Love Story but a different author. This follows Aoki who has a crush on the girl who sits next to him, Hashimoto, and one day he borrows her eraser and sees that there is another boy's name on the eraser with a little heart next to it. And the name on the eraser is Ida, which is the boy who sits in front of him. He accidentally drops the eraser. Ida picks it up. And because Aoki doesn't want to out his crush's crush, he says that the eraser is his. Following the eraser incident, Ida asks to talk to Aoki and basically tells him, I've never really had a crush on a boy before, but I do want to be friends and let's see where these things go. So they start trying to figure out if they have feelings for each other. He still has a crush on Hashimoto, and then he finds out that Hashimoto doesn't actually have a crush on Aida. He, she has a crush on his best friend, Aida, which is A-I-D-A, and it's kind of just shenanigans from there. These four are trying to figure out their feelings for each other. They are building this really sweet friendship between the four of them. They are going through all of the emotional ups and downs of friendships and relationships. And it is just a really great story. It's one of my favorites, obviously. 
This is complete in nine volumes and it should still be in print. So it should be fairly easy to pick up. The next series on my list is another out of print title and that would be Mars. This follows a delinquent high school boy who wants to become a motorcyclist and a girl who wants to go to art school who asks him to model for her for one of her art pieces. This does have a lot of mature situations in it in the sense that Ray's a delinquent and he gets into trouble. He's living in an abandoned apartment building. He is not opposed to mature relationships with adult women. There's teenagers who are smoking and doing drugs, but I feel like this series is fairly realistic when it comes to some of the situations that high schoolers go through, especially when there are absentee parents or you have parents that aren't supportive of you, etc, etc. I think the romance in this is really sweet. It isn't the like bullying trope, which I absolutely hate. And it does have that like delinquent good girl trope that I love. And I just think that this ends in a really great way with some really good and mature conversations between these teenage to older teen characters. This is complete in 15 volumes. It is out of print and it is harder to find, but I don't feel like this is too crazy price-wise when you do find it secondhand. The last series on my list is Love Me, Love Me Not by Iosaki Saka. Iosaki Saka has done so many other great series, but this one is by far my favorite so far. This follows two girls who happen to bump into each other at a train station and they become fast friends. They are both looking for romance in their high school experience and they both have very different views on what romance is and isn't and what romantic partners should or shouldn't be. The more that they talk to each other, interact with each other, and interact with their crushes, they do start to kind of change their views when it comes to romance, and there is a really sweet romance that develops between these four characters. Again, this is just a super sweet series. It is, it is complete in 12 volumes. This is still in print, and so it should be really easy to find. And if you have read other works by Iosaki Saka, I highly recommend this series. And I do have one honorable mention. I did not include this in my top five because I am planning on using this for another top five video, but that is Fruits Basket. This is one of my all-time favorite shoujo, and it's one of the first series that I collected while it was coming out and collected it from beginning to end. This follows a girl named Toru. She has lost her parents and doesn't have any living relatives that make her feel wanted or comfortable in their own home. And so she ends up living in a tent. And soon after an accident with the tent happens, she stumbles across this family who has been cursed by the Zodiac so that whenever they are hugged by the opposite gender, they turn into the animals of the Zodiac. And the story is so, so much more than that. There is just so many great themes in this series. I feel like I felt every emotion you could possibly go through while reading this. And I highly, highly recommend it if you have not checked it out. There are different printings that you can purchase, whether you want omnibus versions or single volumes. There's also a continuation story that I have not read yet, but I will talk about this more in my top five video that I have this planned for. So that is it for my top five. If you want any other recommendations, I highly recommend that you go check out Laura's video. I will have her channel linked down below and I will try to put the actual video up in the cards so that you can just click on it and go straight to her video and see what her top five shoujo are. What are some of your favorite shoujo manga that are complete? Let me know down in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.